I would say it's very unlikely, in a sense, that our universe has developed the way it has. I don't particularly get comfortable with these arguments because you can turn it around and say, well, the fact that we're here is because the universe happened to develop in this particular way, and that's why we are, in fact, here. But that, you know, it's kind of like going out into a, a, a yard full of, of grass and picking one blade and saying, how likely is it that you would pick that particular blade? Well, it's very unlikely if there are, you know, tens of thousands of blades of grass, the fact that the, the, the chance that you would pick any one of them is very unlikely. But if you set out to pick a blade of grass, the, the fact that you would eventually pick a blade of grass, if that was your intention, is very likely. So these arguments tend to me to get sort of philosophically confused. And I, I'm, I'm certain that our universe as it is now is a very unlikely outcome, but whether that really matters is a different question because it could be that if the original constants of the universe were slightly different, things might have developed vastly differently, but we might have ended up with a different kind of life that maybe could have developed more quickly. I don't know. What we do know is that the universe that we do live in has allowed sufficient time for galaxies to develop, has the right constants for matter to grow, to accumulate by gravity into galaxies and stars has allowed the kind of time necessary to go through these generations of stars needed to produce these heavier elements. These heavier elements then allow the kinds of solid surfaces and solid bodies that we depend on in order to have life as we know it. And that kind of time has then been required for, for life as we know it to be able to develop to the point of comprehending God, to be having the kind of conversations that we're having. So I would say that, you know, the, and there are other experts who can give you more specific details on the numbers and so forth. The likelihood is, is, is low that we would be sitting here as we are. But I would also say this as a Christian uh, from a Christian point of view, my own personal perspective, is that that's not necessarily, um, it's, that's an interesting, it's an amusing fact. It's, it's, it kind of gives you the shivers to think how unlikely it is that the universe is tweaked with the fine constants, just exactly what we need to be here. On the other hand, as if you start from a Christian point of view, which, which some of us do, you can actually imagine that God could enable a universe to develop that would eventually come to a point of life that could recognize God um, from perhaps different starting points. It didn't necessarily have to be this one. So, you know, I, I like to keep an open mind about these things. And, and the problem with saying that the universe had to be just like this for us to be here is that if you find out that in fact the universe didn't have to be just like this or, you know, or that some, you, you know, you, you've kind of got a little quandary going and, and yet it, it doesn't affect the fact that we've experienced, those of us who are Christians have experienced knowing the love of God in our personal lives, that we've had a historical coming of Christ Jesus into this world. You know, we, we have evidence that God has been working in this universe, in this world as it is, so we believe that that's actually happened. The unlikelihood and the likelihood of it, that's something to speculate with numbers, but not to get too caught up in, I would say.